All right, back with you on the Bronx Buzz. This is a segment I always look forward to because um, he's a, a good friend, a journalist, a good friend of the Bronx for many, many years. Uh, Bob Capstatter, who formerly is a media consultant and former New York Daily News editor, edited the Bronx section for many years. Nice to see you, Cappy. Hi there. <laughs> he's he's going to be hard to get today. I can see that. I'm playing um, but, with you. I'm playing. Yeah, I know you are. So, um, uh, uh, you, you've been taking pictures. Just talk to me about how you've, in a way, converted your love and talent for writing to being a photographer. Uh, we've talked about this before on the show. Very simply, I've always enjoyed photography. Um, I went to the University of Missouri School of Journalism, did a double major, reporting and photography. Then I figured out two cameras and a camera bag reporters pad in a pen which works better for me which is easier so <laughs> good 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 thinking and, um yeah. so you did that first but um now i mean i see many of the pictures you post them personally on yeah. facebook and um this series that we're going to look at to, to, today tonight is um dance photos i mean what made yeah. you say hey i got a lot of these well you know it's first of all uh it's bob capstad or instagram also if you want to check out the collection um uh, Actually, it, it started uh, after um, I left the news, and I was also editor over at the Bronx Times. And uh, then I went to work for a, a local elected official. And uh, part of the job was uh, going to all of these events and, you know, making sure he got his picture taken. And some of the electeds would hold these these parties, these dances. They'd call them abrazos, uh, embraces. Mob scene. People would come. They'd get a free meal and a, and and you know dance music. So I started taking pictures of the and, dancers. And I'm I'm going to introduce because we're going to get right to the photos. Sure, let's a lot go of to them. it. Um, what I'm going to say is, to me, what this shows is inside what it's like to be in the Bronx. You know, I'm going to take my glasses are. off. I'm getting reflections. In all, all right. You're okay. handsome. Where no are you? How we Where are you? you go? All right, let's go. Let's roll these uh, photos. Okay. Numero uno, look at this. Okay. This was an annual festival um, uh, on Morrison Avenue every year. Politicians sponsored it. And um, I see this couple dancing. I think I, I knocked off about five five shots on it. And later, as I'm editing the photo, um, I'm saying, you know, crop this down and look at the intensity of this couple. And, and the, in intensity the, of them, the intensity of them together. Yeah. There, there's affection, there's care, there's respect in there. And for me, it's the kind of photograph uh, that shows people of the Bronx that nobody knows about you know what i mean nobody talks about and yeah, nobody dances one. like bronx people yeah, when there's yeah, a hot yeah. latin band all right <laughs> let's see, let's see the next one there, yeah absolutely same thing morris morrison avenue festival this was more the most recent one um just another great looking couple a great shot to grab i think i had about five frames on this one also it just captures i have to tell you it just captures the pride of the Bronx, of Bronx people. This is who we are. Um, obviously, summertime. Do you shoot them in color and then just decide to black and white? Um, or do you shoot black and white? I've been switching back and forth. Uh, sometimes I, I don't get the same uh, sharpness when I convert from color to black and white. Hmm. Um, so pretty much black and white most wow. of the time now. And uh, if you're a photographer, you know, if, uh, try taking a look at your old color photos out there, folks. And make them black and white. Make them black and white, especially yeah. with people in them. Let, let's look people. at the next one because well, I, I want to keep going. Um, yeah. But More. The, the black and white makes it look like it's like timeless. You know, in other words, like when I looked at it, I said, you know, these probably are from, you know, because I know you've been in the Bronx for many years, 10 years ago. Well, and, and, uh, it takes away from the distraction. Color, uh, black and white, takes away from the sometimes the distraction of color, and you focus strongly on the people, like that guy with the maracas in the background. I don't know if he would yeah. stand out this, as much. And, and and the other thing that I love about that is her her skirt. Yeah, 
Con- communicates movement. Com- communicates movement, even though it's a still photo. It, it yeah. a tremendous. Now, how much of that? Uh, let's show the next one. How much of that is? We can keep talking. How much of that is a deliberate versus, um, you know, like you knew that you could capture the dress that way, or you just came home and said, "Wow, look at what I got." Well, again, <laughs> shoot a couple of shots and hope you got a good one. I I lowered the camera a little bit. All right, this. <laughs> <laughs> this one was clearly color, and you needed this it one to had be to be in color. I I call I call this my Pepto Bismol man. Ah, there you go. <laughs> this guy was at, at one of these politicians inspired dances. Let's go back to the photo. Can we do that? Yeah, yeah. It'll it'll be edited back in there. It is okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, just at, at, well, I what I want to say is I looked at that and all I could think of was Chuck Berry. I said, man, go. that is that is there with the go. with the cheekbones and and the you know the yeah. knees bent yeah. like that. That's I mean, this was just this was a photo that just had to be taken. I, I forget how many shots I did to get the the partner with them. That couple off to the far right in the background there. She it's, looked like she was enjoying the Pepto Bismol suit as much as you were. Uh, it could be. Uh, these these are just great, and and they really define. You know, we should get a gallery up a, about this. This defines so to me so much about who we are in the Bronx. All right, next. Well, Greg, did you want to say something? Oh uh, no, no. Cappy's um, on the floor again. This is. Uh, I just. I'll, some of my photos, I I cut the top of people off in some of my uh. photos because. It helps focus on what's happening at the moment. In this case, these dancers, this woman with this great looking dress, her her legs showing her dance step. Uh, it, and so this was emotion. originally this was originally a full shot. It wasn't you yeah. trying oh, yeah. to get a yeah. shot up her yeah. dress. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you know, c- cut the top off and you focus on what's wow. really happening in the photo. Do Do you ever play with um you know with the color or lighting through the technology that's available? My sense is you don't do that. You You're not that kind of a photographer. You know, I should take a class or two on all the, all the techniques of lighting and and exposure and all of that stuff. Uh, basically, I've learned through experience and a lot of mistakes and reading up, you know, uh, and and look, I might shoot a whole like 30 shots of some event somewhere and come back and say, you know, I didn't have one damn good photo in this whole thing. But then I might crop one one photo down and find that hidden picture by cropping it. So do, do you um, uh, uh, do you shoot? deliberately to make a like a great photo like a, or do you just shoot and see what happens oh of course i go out and i say i'm going to shoot a great photo today you're the man you're the man there's a, that's your bronx too right there. no but what it what it is is <laughs> i think from from years of of being a reporter and also with my street photography something i i, I learned from cops uh, a lot of cop friends and cops would say you know, when you're walking the street, you look for something that's not usual. You look, something is out of place here. Well, that's my reporters and my sort of cops. Let's, uh, let, I, I want to get to more. catches your eye. I got it. You, let's uh, you let's catch, do some more. You know, and, and, but you, look you, see, de- you look for that unusual detail. Speaking of unusual detail. Uh, this you, was... <laughs> <laughs> Another one of these Abrazo dances, and this woman just came at me. <laughs> Listen, and man, probably, love probably the flash didn't go off in the camera, so I had the sense of this movement. She's coming at me, and she's slightly she's out of focus, but it, it I think it gives she, more she, dynamic uh, to the photo. Let, let me tell you something: she is dressed individually. There was nobody else in that room dressed like her. Well, that's and, true. Yeah. And, and, all right, let's go. Let's keep going. I want to get to more of a, I'm, I'm trying to count. This this may Morrison be my, Avenue again. This uh, this may be my favorite photo of them all, especially with the mural in the background, her yeah. attitude. She's dancing alone. There's a sense of, hey, man, I'm just, and, this is me and take it or leave it. Yeah. It's just and tremendous. She, spot, she spots me with the camera and- She's ready to have her. She's saying, "Here you go." That's Take what it. I mean. This, this, this is yeah. what a that, that is a Bronx woman, man. That is, there you I, go. I hey, love, Mama Sita. Hey, mommy. I, I love hey, that. Mommy. I love that photo. All right, keep going. Let's see. I don't All know right. how many we got left. More dancers, more. Just the concentration. Well, they want to get it right. 
concentrated on the steps. And, you know, it's it's a hot day, so she's, you know, sort of lightened up a little bit. Yes. Um, but, yes, you see, they're casual, and it's a casual sort of event. Yeah. But the dancing. They're so the focused get, on their dance That's step. right. Getting it right was so important yeah. uh, to them. Tremendous. All right, next. I, I could do this all day long. Oh, my goodness. My heart, oh, this is, my I heart love is beating little, fast. This was a uh, Dominican-American celebration, uh, again, sponsored by the, you know, the local politicians. And just this little girl, she was dancing. She's a pretty good dancer, too. And uh, boom, yep. snap, I got it. And, and the, the, the uh, older dancer on the side there smiling it's just you, you the framing the framing the composition it works um and you, smile on the subject just you works. you all came together you in all of these pictures you have captured people who have such pride even that even that little girl what was she yeah. eight years old nine years old such pride in in being who listen who i gotta saying. tell you when when i when i get the picture man you know my really holy cow wow, wow. Fantastic. Wow. Oh, that's, that's great. Makes, you know, that's why I enjoy it so much. Uh, I don't want to say I don't want to say on the air. It's almost like sex, but I, <laughs> so I won't say that. No, don't try not to say that. I, <laughs> okay. I do want to keep my job. All right. Okay. <laughs> ah, this is a uh, actually she was a uh, judge's a local judge, uh, Bronx judge's mother. I wish I could. Remember. Wow. And she has since passed. But oh, I'm sorry. She just loved dancing. She was at all the dances. And again, I've cropped out the people around her so that so she's that you can see the center she of attention and she's just enjoying herself. Wow. And and well, whatever. It, you know, what we've learned from these photos, age doesn't matter. There's, it, the pride just comes through. I just, goodness gracious. All right. We have one more, I think. And we're yeah, just enough time oh, to fit it in. Oh, There's just a happy guy. <laughs> he sees the case. He's just saying, I'm happy. Uh, I love tremendous. this. Um, Bob, um, so uh, we're, we're just about out of time. You're going you're gonna to go out and shoot more. I, what I want you to do is uh, pick up uh, another theme, go through your photos, well, and, uh, say, and then the, that'll be the next time we invite you. You know, I'd love to show you. Uh, for the last year, I've been working with a, uh, a motorcycle gang in, in Brooklyn. Oh, which is not the Bronx. I'm sorry. Well, we'll, we'll take a look. Listen, man, we got to run. Okay. Um, my good friend, always Bob good Cap to talk. Satter. Always good I'm, to be on the show. I'm going to give him a long distance virtual hug. And um, we thank you. Yeah. And thank you for your great work uh, over the many decades here in, in the borough of the Bronx. And uh, guess what uh, happens now? It's the end of the program. And uh, we will see you next week.